Down, please. Oh, look, it's Rita. In control. Out of control. Wait, I should put my headset on. Oh, don't worry about that. There's no reason to talk to you. It makes it look more official. Look over here, look over his shoulder. There's a lighting for us. My name is Bob Brown, I'm the director of the Brecht Company, and I would like to welcome you to this, our 10th anniversary production. As many of you may already be aware, the Brecht Company, although in residence here at the University of Michigan Residential College, is an independent, largely self-supported, nonprofit organization. Uh, however, educational programs are obviously a, a very large part of our commitment and the approach to the work we do. And to that end, I would like you to be aware that uh, we have prepared uh, a souvenir program uh, that has background information on the history of the Three Penny Opera, uh, the style of Brecht's theater, a little bit of gossipy information about Brecht and his collaborators, which is all very interesting to read, and some critical commentary of our own uh, about this very controversial play of the 20th century. Um, among the type of information you may find in it uh, is the fact that this play, the Three Penny Opera, is actually an adaptation of an 18th century English play called The Beggar's Opera. And I'm sure you'll be able to keep that in mind, the title The Beggar's Opera. As I tell you, we would love to give you this for free, but we can't afford to, and it's only one dollar, and it's well worth the one dollar. So please, uh, it will be available for you in the lobby during both of the intermissions. Um, also, at the same table where you can buy this program for the low, low cost of one dollar, uh, you could also buy one of our lovely Three Penny Opera posters suitable for mounting for three dollars. And uh, if a lot of people buy them tonight, they're gonna be five dollars tomorrow. So <laughs> take advantage of that price as well, please. Uh, also, in the uh, lobby during intermissions is a refreshment table. You're welcome to help yourself to the refreshments free of charge. There is, however, a contribution basket. Which I <laughs> notice next to it. Um, and also on the tables and spread around the lobby uh, are mailing lists, which we encourage you to sign your name and put your address down there if you'd be interested in staying in touch with us uh, to receive word of upcoming productions. Uh, once in a while, uh, a ticket discount offer, and only very rarely a letter asking you for money. Um, actually, uh, all kidding aside, uh, requests for money are easily ignored. Uh, the important thing is that you get on the mailing list so that you do stay in touch with us. We want you to be able to come and see our, our future productions. However, if you do get one of those letters asking for money, you might want to keep in mind that I haven't been able to afford a new tie since 1969. <laughs> Other than that, um, before we get started, I would just like to uh, announce that uh, because of the popular acclaim that we have received with this production, uh, we've been able to extend through this weekend. This is an extension. We have two final performances tomorrow night and Sunday afternoon. So if you enjoy the production, uh, we have tickets remaining, so please tell your friends about it. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, then I suggest maybe you should come back because you haven't been paying attention. Um, so other than that, I thank you for coming and enjoy the show.
welcome to Mobster Movie with your host, Don Cameron. Today's feature, The Resistible Rise of Arturo Ui. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to show Quiet, you there in the back row, huh? Madam, your hat is in the way. The great historical gangster play. So learn, you folks, to see instead of gape, to act instead of talk and beat the air. The world was almost conquered by this ape. The people did become his master, but beware, too soon we might exult in this escape. The womb from which he crawled can always bear. It will avail you nothing. All this murder, this butchery, these threats and slaughterings are all in vain, Arturo, for the root of your crimes is rotten. No one will help. Who helped me in my need? What's left of me is not afraid of lead. When is your ship coming in, Jenny? Yes. And uh, now you. Do you still wipe up those glasses, Pirate Jenny? Do you still wipe up those glasses, Pirate Jenny? Yes. And now I'll begin. Pirate Jenny. Now, gentlemen, today you see me washing up the glasses and making beds for everyone to sleep in. The Army Song. Here's your chance to record your comments for posterity. What do you think? What the world needs is a good three-penny opera. <laughs> <laughs> 